What's up guys? You're watching the Jermaine event. Today we're going to talk all about getting a storage unit. I'm going to give you my tips on how to get a great storage unit. Stay tuned. So I'm about to head on to my storage unit and I'm super excited. Um, this is my first storage unit I've had in a while. But I wanted to show you guys my tricks because I got this storage unit at a really good price. Now, um, I, if you've never had a storage unit before, you've definitely reached the right video. I'm going to tell you my ways of how I find a good storage unit, okay? And also wanted to let you know that this is just for informational purposes only. This may not be the best advice for you, but this is my personal advice. So just take this as just with a grain of salt. This is just for me to help you and what I've gone through. But again, your mileage may vary on what you may find in a storage unit. So the first thing I always tell people is to look for specials. You never know when they're gonna have a good special. Right now, I just got my unit. My storage unit is the first month free and then 17 a month. And I only pay for the admin fee, which is $24.99, and then I paid uh, renter's insurance. So you're gonna want renter's insurance. You can go through your insurance company to do that if you already have renters with your insurance company, but you're gonna wanna make sure they cover storage as some will not cover items that are left in storage since it's off the, your actual home or property. So in that case, if you don't have renter's insurance with your current insurance company, you can buy the company's renter's insurance that they work with. Storage unit will usually have a renter's insurance place that they work with. So I got mine um, for $11 a month. So in total right now, my storage unit is only $28, which is great because some storage units will charge you an arm and a leg. I've seen them go up to $50, $60 a month for a storage unit. And um, I have a five by five and I will go over that with you in a moment. So we are going to head to my storage unit right now and I will go over more details with you and what to look for in a unit. Here we go. Let's head to my storage unit now. I can say I'm now officially at my storage unit, about to go in. Wanted to tell y'all a little bit more information about getting a storage unit. So basically, when you get a storage unit, you're going to see just a couple things. Now, keep in mind that every storage unit is going to have things like security as far as gates or gate code to get into. That's usually the general thing because that's what you're paying for. Another thing you're going to want to be weary about is also having a lock. Now, I got a message from my um, storage unit provider that they already put a lock in my unit. Most of the time, you don't really see that happen. Um, in my experience, you usually have to buy your own lock or you have to buy one of theirs. Now, what I usually do is I usually buy one of these circle locks because they have a key on them. As far as I know, you can maybe use a combination lock as well. But what I've always done is I've bought one of these circular locks and I have two keys that are usually assigned to them and they definitely help me out. Um, I got this one from Amazon, but you can usually get these at Walmart, Target, etc. Now, some storage companies do provide a moving truck for you if you're moving stuff into storage. So just keep that in mind. Um, you want to definitely check out with your local storage companies. Now, so far, I have used Extra Space Storage and I have used CubeSmart. I love Extra Space Storage. I'm actually at Extra Space Storage right now. It is in a very convenient and a very safe, quiet area. But you always want to make sure, especially if you're loading stuff in at night, late at night, you always want to make sure that you are being careful, especially with Corona. You want to make sure that you're sanitizing yourself. You want to make sure that your stuff is protected and it's locked because you don't know who could be coming in and out of the storage unit. You don't know what kind of stuff they may have. Um, you want to make sure that you don't have bugs coming into your storage unit. So you want to make sure that you're doing all that to make sure you keep your items safe because that is why they want you to have the renter's insurance because the renter's insurance is gonna cover anything that is stolen out of your unit. Usually they're gonna charge you a monthly fee as far as costs go. So and the cost is depending on how big your unit is. Now I got lucky enough and Extra Space is probably one of the more reasonably priced storage units. My storage unit is only $17 a month plus the renter's insurance. So you wanna keep that in mind. One thing you also notice is that most storage companies will provide you dollies. 
so that way you can put stuff into your unit and this unit that I'm at right now is not an outside unit um, what me what that means is it doesn't have outside lots everything is going to be inside of a building and it is a huge building so that's a good thing about that too you also want to make sure that your staff is available to talk to so you want to make sure that you do have access to speak to someone that is in the office to help you because you never know what may happen you may forget your gate code you may not have access to get in um, you may have an issue locking up so you want to make sure that if you have any emergency issues or that you have something that needs to be handled with right away that you do have a storage unit office that is available for any concerns now my local storage unit here at the extra space storage has been awesome they are here on my beck and call <laughs> not that i really use them that much but if i have an issue getting into my gate and getting into the gate or have an issue like moving something out of the storage unit usually the people at the unit are very nice and they're so nice enough to help me um, this company as well, the Extra Space Storage, and I promise you I'm not endorsing them, but Extra Space Storage also has a call center. Um, and as far as I remember, they're usually 24 hours. So if you have any account questions after the office is closed, they can usually help you as well. Um, so that's another good thing about this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to load a tote into my five by five unit. So I've got my tote here, I've got my um, dolly to carry up to my storage unit, and I've got my pretty face. Of course, I'm wearing my mask because we gotta watch out for coronavirus. Remember people, it's still a pandemic. I have to go ahead and um, set this up. Of course, I'm not gonna show y'all my alarm cap pad. But pretty much it's like a building like this. You of course gotta put a code to get in. So when I was speaking of double security, I just realized that this code has to be entered twice too. So I have to put in a code to use the elevator as well. That's how much security this place has, but that's a good thing. The only thing I've kind of dreaded about these um, the storage units is that like they're super scary sometimes. <laughs> when you're going down the, the halls. Cause sometimes you're by yourself in this building. And it's a lot of different hallways. So it can be a little scary. So I'm still looking for my unit, but as you can see, there are different sizes in these, uh, in these storage units. So that gives you kind of a glimpse of what you may look forward to when you get a storage unit. Um, obviously it's just gonna depend on the size. Um, that you have so just make sure um, whatever that you do um, just make sure that you make sure you have the right make sure you like measure your furniture measure everything else to make sure that they can fit inside of the unit so and I'm a little lost can't find my own storage unit can y'all believe that <laughs> and here I was the whole time I am next to the freaking elevator I'm not even that far from the elevator <laughs> Y'all, I'm like seriously really that close. <laughs> so let me go ahead and open it up. So this is a 5x5 five five unit. It's not the biggest. Um, the best way you can compare it is to like a walk-in closet. There is room to put tall things in though. Um, there, I mean, of course there is that roof right there. This little, uh, I forgot what this is called. But it is like a walk-in closet. So if you're able to fit stuff in there you can definitely do that but that's just to give you an idea of the unit size um i'm probably gonna put like maybe 10 15 boxes in here um because i'm getting all new furniture when i move um because i'm in the middle of moving apartments so that's why i'm getting this storage unit so this will probably be perfect for me but i would say if you have a couch a mattress and something like that you might want to get one of these bigger units right here and i forget what these are called so y'all can correct me in the comments but you always want to get a bigger unit. Just definitely just remember if you're getting a five by five, it's only going to be like a walk-in closet size. So extra space storage did not leave me a storage lock like they said they would. So we're going to do plan B, which I'm glad I brought this lock. So this is why you want to definitely have one of these locks here. So you're just going to insert that, click that in, and it should lock your storage unit. And remember, it's a circular lock 
or you can try the padlock with the combination. I just prefer the key so I can just remember to have the key on my key ring whenever I'm going. So just put that there, insert that in, and it should lock up. It, that is storage unit tip basics for you. So I want to apologize. My gate is not 24 hours. The access is open until 10. So make sure you are checking your hours um, at your local storage unit. If you decide to get one, just make sure that it's convenient for your times. After all that hard work putting things into my storage unit and doing my storage unit tour, I'm not ready to eat. So this video is going to officially be over, but thank y'all for showing me love. I love you guys so much. Leave any comments below. Make sure again that you like this video. And if you like what you're seeing on the Jermaine event, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It is so great doing this video for y'all and i hope you guys have a great day but remember it's always a great day when you're watching the Jermaine event bye bye now